Hello people, I am Jabby Kuei, joined by Achara Kirk. Hi guys. We're looking at the trailer to Ranarangam. It's starring Sharanand and Kajal Agarwal, as well as Kalyani Priyash... Priya Darshan. Darshan. Priya Darshan. Yep, there we go. We're in a directed by Sudhir Varma. I want to give a shout out to my Twitter buddy, Santosh Ogirala. Sorry if I mispronounced Santosh. your name. Santosh. Santosh. Yes. Thank you so much for recommending this to us. I know you made subtitles, but then when I checked the damn video again, they put subtitles on there. So thank you so much for your efforts. I guess we'll use the subtitles they provided. Love you lots, though. Love All right. You lots. Here we you. go. Let's check this out. Mumtaz ko to Shah Jahan Taj Mahal ke tarante double ko yahan ko na. Hmm. Kon to mani ko samkata chhu, kuch pata chhu. Oh. Go Baba. Inki ne bhaja pla. Mali kalwa nante chhata. Chhapa na? Inki ke ye business chhasa na? Oh ada. NDR Andhra Pradesh ko chhamatri ka adhikar diya pate kani. Oh, is that a lot of booze? Yeah. It's a good business plan. Oh, wow. Oh, don't do that. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, oh my God. Oh, man. I'm never going to look at crap the same again. That was taken from a movie called Cradle to the Grave. Oh, really? Jet Li. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Where are they? Are they abroad? Power on the server. Adi yavar me da chupi chalo koda. Let's go. Oh, it's going really fast. Oh, oh! Papa chano dabu to konle ni thano nante alda book. The tone of this totally changed. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I, I guess she's still there though. Yeah, ride or die. Dang. What the heck? Digging the music though. As far as I know, that's actually a real issue. The water thing? The water, yeah, and I can totally believe that people would go to war for water. It kind of reminds me of that short film we watched with uh, Nawazuddin Siddiqui. The carbon, the air one? Yeah. yeah. I forgot but, what it's called. Yeah, I think maybe it was called carbon or something. But I know that the water thing is actually a, a real crisis. <clears throat> Outside of the, the droughts that India is currently experiencing in certain areas, I don't know the full details of it, so obviously, please forgive me, but like I know that there's some sort of conflict between certain regions, potentially P Pakistan and India, because of the water and how it's shared and whatnot. Again, I don't fully know the details, so please be kind to me in the comments about that. I will say this, I like the way that this is shot. I like the, the way that the director and the DP work together to achieve the look of it, the colors and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's very vibrant and pops, the deep of, uh, I guess, vibrance and saturation. I'm just thinking of, like, Lumetri color in Adobe Premiere. Right. Like, what are the different terms? <laughs> what? Like, it's deep contrast, Thanks. deep saturation, deep vibrance. Deep, 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 deep everything. You know, and it's quite possible that they used Adobe Premiere and Lumetri color when they edited this thing. <laughs> um, and they might have shot it on the red. It's interesting how someone falls from grace, you know, and into this the underbelly of society because it looks like he starts out as this relatively innocent dude who's just in love. And then I was kind of unclear on the bridge between that version of him to the gangster. Right. I, I wasn't sure if, it, you know, his passion for this girl informed why he went this direction. Like he wanted money to be able to take care of her and then that's what happened. Like I was not sure. Or that he just saw an opportunity and was like, okay, I'm gonna take it. You know, like yeah. he was just a shrewd businessman, not afraid to do something illegal in order to make money. It's one of those things where you have someone who's in a position of desperation and or not even that but like just wants more yeah. than what he has and you're not given all the opportunities that the 1% has and so you have to sort of take it by by force. By force, yeah. I mean and at least according to the narrative of the story. Obviously you have this very uh Scorsese-esque type of violence going on. It's very good fellas in, in that regard. But yeah. the, the the crab through the neck thing, I don't think they stole it from Cradle to the Grave, but 
I distinctly remember that in Cradle to the Grave. Like there was a thing that was just like, it stuck out to me as like, whoa, I cannot believe they did that. And it looked super nasty. In the beginning, I saw the crab and and me and my greedy, always hungry mind was like, oh, that looks like a delicious crab claw. And then he just ruined it for me by turning it into a weapon. I'm like, no, yeah. I wanted to eat that. It looked really good. Right. And uh, and so I'm not clear if what the, I mean, it's fine that it's not clear. I'm just curious about it. The relationship that he experiences with this woman, right? Because mm -hmm. he aggressively goes after her and then she's like, okay, fine. She's and then, playing coy a little bit. Yeah, and then know? that relationship starts to develop and she obviously falls for him pretty hard as he does for her. But then he goes down this really dark path. The integrity starts to crumble at the seams. It starts to fall apart at the seams a little bit. And this is what it looks like they're having a fight of some kind. Oh, I thought I thought I saw her with a gun. So I was like, oh, she suddenly became like a ride or die girl. A gun on who though? Was it on a bad guy or was it on him? I, it went by so fast, honestly. I just kind of picked up the detail of her and the gun, but I didn't pick up who she was. I bet you ten. To I'll, shoot. I'll bet you ten bucks. It's just it's, it's just like Goodfellas, and it's on him. It's on him. Uh, Oh. I mean, it looks like it's on him. Yeah, well, it's the back of his head, but it does look like his hair. So yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe she's she's just a good girl who's kind of fallen in love with someone who's going down a dark path, and well, now she's like, Ugh, What happened in Goodfellas was different, though, because he was cheating on her in Goodfellas. Oh. He had this woman on the side, and his wife was tired of that. Here, I don't know what exactly this. It's obviously a question mark still until we watch the movie. I gotta give props to the just the way it's shot, man. The framing on this movie looks beautiful. Even the mm -hmm. shot we're, we're on right now with the trees and the car that's on fire as he's yeah. walking back to the other car. Obviously, he just offed a couple dudes in there. Destroy the evidence. Yeah, this looks dope. Just in terms of the the look of it, I'm I'm so into it, and I'm into gangster stories. I'm hoping that. The violence is just a byproduct of the kind of story it is, and right. it's not glorifying the violence. Right, it's not just like straight gratuitous violence, like there's actually a reason behind yes. it. I mean, it feels very much in character, like he does kind of give off that impulsive, hot-headed character vibe. It does feel like it could be in keeping with the character, and I hope that is the case. I would have loved it if the Shah Rukh Khan movie was like this. Uh, oh. The one with Nawazuddin and Siddiqui. Yeah. I, I forgot what it's called all of a sudden, but that one. I mean, it would have been great if it was more in line with this in terms of the tone, in terms of like the conflict that happens. Because he very much feels like an anti hero, whereas in the Shah Rukh Khan movie, it still felt like he was kind of a hero. Anyway, that eventually, maybe Bollywood will adapt this movie. <laughs> uh, hopefully, this one does really well. Hopefully, it's a really awesome movie and it does well. Yeah. And then Bollywood's like, you know what? We'll make that too for the Hindi audience. And it'll start Shah Shahid Kapoor. And ah. then everyone will come after the director, and then I'll have something to talk about. Even the shots of the crates of alcohol in the ocean looked really yeah. cool. The DP on this movie is super talented. I've just noticed a lot from, you know, with the regional markets that there's a lot of great directors and, and DPs that produce just this beautiful image, and it's just wonderful to watch. I mean, even though I wasn't the biggest fan of uh, Arjun Reddy, mm -hmm. I thought the way it was shot was great. There really is an eye for beauty and detail, I yeah. think, in a lot of the South Indian regional movies. Yeah. And for me, what was interesting as well in this trailer was just in the beginning, I thought it was a completely different movie. I was getting kind of 96 vibes and I still haven't watched that movie but I kind of remember the trailer and it was this you know very sweet kind of romantic story and I thought oh okay that's the direction that we're going and then suddenly it turns into this crazy violent gangster movie right. and I'm like whoa what's going on there and I wonder how much of the movie is gonna be that kind of sweet romance from the beginning or if that's just gonna be like you know 15 20 minutes and then it goes straight into the kind of underworld story. This is my favorite shot, the silhouette. That's beautiful. Yeah, I've tried to shoot silhouettes and I haven't quite mastered it yet. I find it challenging, like this is such a cool shot. This is why you have a good DP. Yeah. Because what goes into your head as a DP to achieve this? Like, look at the fall off of the shadow towards the left of the frame. Uh -huh. And you can see just enough of the uh, intricacy of the train and whatnot. It almost looks like an animation, but it's so gorgeous. And the light inside of the smoke, this is not what how it looks in real life. Like, this is crafted and it looks so amazing. The trees, is almost like a horror movie. I just think it's gorgeous. Like, this shot alone, if you just showed me this, I'd be like, I, I, I wanna watch this movie. Like that's 
That's how much I like this shot. So I think it looks amazing. And it's mysterious. You don't know who this dude is. He could be a threat or- He's obviously a threat. You know? So anyways, you guys, do let us know your feelings in the comments below about the trailer, your feelings and our feelings, and where we were uh, lost. You can maybe uh, yeah. clarify some of those question marks for us. Check out a chart, Kirk, on the social media. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. I'm Javi Kuwait. This is- A Kirk. Peace out.